When you are listening to the music, see if you can get those little pictures going. And, and we'll use like, it's like your mind's eye, your way of seeing what the music is trying to tell you. For two decades now, CTL has been helping schools to help all students learn at the highest levels. Over the years, the education landscape has changed, but CTL's mission has not. Advancing excellence in teaching and school leadership. CTL was formed in 1994 as the Collaborative for Elementary Learning to help those schools and teachers implement the Kentucky Education Reform Act, one of the most significant educational reforms that's ever occurred in this country. Over time, the demands on schools have changed. We moved from CARA into Goals 2000, No Child Left Behind, the High Stakes Accountability and Testing Movement, and now the mandate that all students be college and career ready. But throughout it all, our focus has remained the same. We support teachers in achieving effective practice. We want the very best for every learner. It very often is, becomes overwhelming and so people don't move at all. I think the way CTI has responded is that regardless of what the implementation is, that the strategy is you must work with those who provide the work, the teachers. For CTL, the bottom line has always been effective teacher practice. Rigorous, inquiry-based, arts-infused, interdisciplinary. Effective teaching is authentic. It engages all learners and answers real-world questions. And the first thing we do is when we provide professional development, we immerse teachers in the experience that we hope they're going to replicate in the classroom. So if it's um, adolescent literacy or project-based learning or um, using more kind of generative math processes so that students understand mathematics at a conceptual level, then we engage teachers in that actual work. It can be scary for teachers, even if they realize that their students aren't engaged and aren't doing as well as they could. That doesn't mean they're necessarily prepared to change or they know what the change looks like. But you know, it's all those pieces within a school that engage that student in learning. So it's a teacher within the classroom, it's the principals, what kind of structures are in place, and it's, it's an approach that supports the fact that we are all in this together. That might support and to build that infrastructure within Let's think back for a moment to our name, the Collaborative for Teaching and Learning. We're called that for a reason. We really believe that collaboration yields better results. And so while sometimes we work on our own with um, a partner or a, a, a client. Typically, we try to work with multiple partners and we feel that that enriches the work and brings lots of talents to bear on this very difficult work of school improvement. And CTL has been a fabulous partner for emphasizing and working with all of our teachers on quality instruction. We found that the adolescent literacy model that CTL developed really became a school improvement model within itself. As part of our collaboration efforts, we've engaged business leaders, parent groups, state departments of education, and many other education and arts organizations. Somebody at the Department of Education arranged for a meeting, and um, that first meeting was hilarious because we began talking about the same thing and we kept finishing each other's sentences. You know, it was lovely at first sight. Working with a broad group of partners, over the years we've been able to attain many state and federal grants as well as receive generous funding from foundations. The 90s was a real period of innovation. There was the Galef Institute out in Los Angeles had developed a really innovative arts-infused uh, multidisciplinary methodology. They had had conversations with Linda Horgan as she was uh, organizing in Kentucky. Knight Foundation um, gave a major grant to expand and test different ways of knowing uh, as a statewide reform strategy. There's a, a strong parallel between Common Core agenda now and what CARA was uh, doing in the 90s. CTL is probably finding itself recast in that distinctive role of 
understanding in a deep way what po the policy is trying to achieve and helping that become a reality in the day-to-day -day work of teachers. The key thing is finding out what the teacher is curious about, about their practice, and then what are the questions I ask as a coach or as a support to the teacher. I think when teachers see what's possible in themselves, they see what's possible in their students. True difference happens in the classroom and that one-on-one -on -one experience that a teacher has with students. And I've been fortunate to see those aha moments and to see them turn the corner because once you turn that corner, you don't go back. CTL is also noted for its innovation, and when I talk about innovation, there are two elements here. One is building capacity within the school system. Another element of innovation is all of our trainings are customized. They're not off-the-shelf type of activities, and that way they meet the needs of the students and the teachers and the faculty very, very well. I really appreciate a working climate in which there's not a prescription, there's not a script, but instead there's a partnership in planning the development, the programming, always with the understanding that this plan will evolve. We strive to collaborate to build consensus with leaders and teachers around what are the best solutions in order to really improve teaching and learning? When I started working with CTL, I think I was more of a building manager. I focused on discipline management, but when I became involved with CTL, that's when I became a real instructional leader. Instructional guidelines that CTL helps create provides that framework to ensure that that rigorous and relevant instruction is taking place in the classroom and that the students are engaged and they're, they're active participants. We have titles but no one is it locked in one certain job. And it depends on what the project is, what we have to do for the day. Everybody's willing to jump in, and that's where I think our strength is in collaborating. They tell staff it's like they're going out to teach their own kids. And one of the things that I'm most passionate about is this idea of an equitable education for all students, in particular for students who are of poverty, and who live in these rural areas, bridging that gap between home and school so that learning opportunities that these kids have at school are enforced and supported at home. The folks at CTL um, are on the cutting edge of where equity is at the moment and a college-going culture and those things that really we need to do in Kentucky to move students in post-secondary education. I think often partners um, are really project-focused and I think with CTL it's more of a systemic partnership. Uh, thinking about how can we work over the long term regardless of the funding stream to improve the educational outcome. The one thing that, that we see with CTL is there's that passion, the passion for high quality schools, the passion for performance, and the, really the commitment to doing the hard work. One of the things that sets us apart uh, at CTL when we're working with um, teachers and, and leaders and administrators is that we don't bring the answers in with us all the time. It may be easier to bring the answers to them, but it's the journey to helping them find the answers themselves that's really the powerful part. And I think that's something at CTL that we really strive to do is set people up for success in the long term. Since we started working with CTL, we have seen our graduation rate climb from 79% five years ago to now over 97% this last year. We've seen our student achievement results on state tests in Algebra 1 and English 10 climb from high 70s, low 80s to now mid 90s. CTL provides the very best professional development I've ever been involved with in my career. Probably the greatest result we've seen from working with CTL is it's transformed the culture at Penn High School. Going forward the next 20 years, I believe our mission will stay essentially the same but I think we can play a critical role in helping everyone reconceptualize schooling, that it's not a place, it's a process. We would like to be part of um, kind of an expanded view of what education can be that still has accountability, but that doesn't uh, put everything into accountability and into testing, and that really looks at increasing equity and opportunity for students. So for us, it's not just offering professional development or consulting services, or planning or program evaluation, how are we really making a better uh, educational system for students and how are we contributing to a better world? That's, <laughs> I know it's ambitious, but that's really what we'd like to do.